Yeah, I have to just remember all the controls and all that stuff, so... <laughs> Forgive me if I start the, start the stream with, like, bouncing around like an idiot. Proving ground ruins. Oh, look at my Durgas and look at my cat ears. Look at my cat ears, ladies and gentlemen. I is cat. Ta-da! We're gonna start with some lore, guys. <laughs> the ancient city of Vigrid is largely inaccessible, surrounded by mountains on one side and the sea to the other. While at first glance this may seem incredibly inconvenient, it is said that Vigrid flourished primarily due to the presence of strong spirit energy within the land underfoot. The Umber Witches and Lumen Sages, each with respective control over dark and light, must have needed a land replet, uh, replet, with, this, replet with this spirit energy in, to enable them to oversee history. With the waves of time have modernized Vigrid, spurring rapid development. However, its residents still avoid outside contact, preferring to maintain their own culture and religious outlook. Their only link to the outside world is a single long-distance rail line. Simply riding this train requires an application to be submitted to Vigrid authorities, and a rigorous background check is required prior to the issuance of an entrance visa, which must be carried at all times. Once disembarking from the train, there is further police search, after which one is granted admission to the city. It seems that what allows Vigrid the ability to be so strict regarding immigration is the seemingly close link between the Vigridian authorities and the um, Ithavol group, a conglomerate based in Vigrid. Yet, proving this link will require further investigation. Dun dun dun. A fasten it's fastened tight with the locks and chains. Nothing should stop me from opening it, of course. Alright, let's go. Wrong one, but whatever. Fuck it! Fuck you! Oh, fuck you! I really need to get back into the remembering the controls. Fuck. Die. Fuck you. Hello. Well, the four months, thank you so much. Huh, <sighs> that was bad. That was really bad. Bronze! Not bad. Not the greatest. I'll pick this up. Thank you. Take this, take this. Okay. Wait, no, I want this one. I want this one instead. Yeah, I want that one. Okay. Alright. Starting off great, guys! Recognize this one. Cereza! Cereza! The witch statue here is also in terrible shape, but restoring this one should, to its former glory should be easy by now. With two fucking snake fuckers. Motherfucker! Gotcha! Next! Come on! Come on!
Gotcha. Hello? Zelda with 11 months? Boom! Easy. There are secrets in this? Of course there are. Yum. What's that, Zizi? Hmm. Pure platinum, suck my ass. Oh, Sarisa. Hi. Oh, fuck you. Oh, kindly, fuck yourself. And again. Oh, fuck y'all. Fuck you. Whatever. 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 Uh, let's see. Gold, not bad. Uh, do you prefer a slow, strong hitter or a weak but faster? I prefer uh, faster, but weaker. That's always been my style. Nope, dude. Shut up, Brian. And Lord. <laughs> Everyone carries within them a record of their evolution as a being since time immemorial. It is this inner knowledge that magical arts is call upon when a practitioner uses the transformative technique known as the beast within. While there is very little documentation regarding this technique, it is comparatively easy to guess at its workings. It is even easier than one, when one considers how many works of art depicted this condition fill museums to this very day. These works capture the very moment when a witch transforms herself into an animal. Present-day interpretations never seem to escape the realm of dismissing these works as an artist's daydreams. However, when viewed from a different perspective, they are an important reference to point in researching the magic arts. The magical arts. These pictures illustrate the unbelievable transformation of an umber witch via the most special of means, seeing her take the form of various animals. The witches were able to freely use this technique, transforming into beasts for incredible speed, or birds to send themselves soaring into the sky. I have a feeling that I'm meeting the twins here, aren't I? Aren't I meeting the brothers here? Yep, here they are. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Ugh! God damn it! Switch, 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 switch. Fuck. Fuck. 
fucking hell. Oh my god! Fuck you! Ugh. Freaking head! Holy god! Stone? Stone! Give me- just give me that stone! Oy. Teresa! <sighs> of course. Okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. Down. Thank you. Oh, fuck you for getting rid of my fucking halos. Whatever, all right. Okay, one, two, three. Whatever, let's, let's, let's save our little girl, shall we? What are you boys doing in here? Are you hiding something from me? Come on. Cereza. Something tells me I'm going to regret this. Papa? Buddha? Time to defend the shield! Oh, fuck you. Really?! Oh, so many things on screen. Holy shit. Uh.
Do it once. Let's go. Down. Thank you. Done. Fuck you. Letting them hit the amethyst right. world it's cockroaches and crying babies well a crying baby cockroach would be truly terrible <laughs> so don't you dare cry yes mommy <sighs> fine you've got to be a strong little one to survive in a place like this what's your name anyway Ceresa. You're not from Figrid, are you, little one? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from my house. That's <sighs> child. No, no. I'll hazard a guess. This isn't your home. So what on earth are you doing here? My daddy told me to come here. And whereabouts is this daddy of yours? He was at work, but now I don't know where he's gone. I want to go home. Sweetie. Just drag you along wherever I go, little one. So you'd better not be getting attached to me. Yes, mummy. <sighs> Come now, little one. I'll help you out of here. But that's all. No. And you have to promise there'll be no crying. A single tear, and you'll be crying alone. Got it? Okay, mommy. God damn it, child. Eh, silver, not bad. I'm still gonna get stoned at the end. Fuck it. Yay, storms. That's a gigantic tornado. And we also have lore to deal with. The Laguna Faith. Vanda is really made to be a babysitter, right? In recent days, Vigrid has seen the rise of the Ithavol Group, a conglomerate whose rapid development has changed the face of the city. Their man-made island off the coast of Vigrid, Isle de Sol, is a clear example of their technological style. It is a modern metropolis, home to many residents. However, their flight from the old city has led to the onshore historical district's rapid decline, a process that will likely end in the areas becoming ruins free of inhabitants. Those who live on the island of Sol and those who live remained in the old city all worship the Laguna, gods who are at the heart of their faith. 
In many ways, like sun worship, this faith has been at the people's core since ancient times and forms the very heart of their cultural development. It is said that the Othovol group itself was developed in conjunction with the Laguna, and its CEO is held up as a paragon of Laguna worship, the living symbol of the people's faith. He is purported to be the descendant to be descended from the said to be annihilated Lumen Sages, although I cannot confirm the veracity of this claim. At any rate, the devotion which people hold towards the Ithavol group is without question. Vigrid's appearance is not the only part of the city to have com changed completely. The ancient faith with the Laguna is now exor in inexorably linked to the Ithavol group as it pushes, forwards, pushes forward its mo modernizations. Thus, the city has lost its previous visage to be replaced at alarming speed and all with the apparent consent of the Laguna worshiping Vigridians. Dun dun dun! All right, prepare for big boy. Awesome, prepare for it. Oh shit, I forgot. Oh, quick. Hey, quit hitting some racer. Boom. I forgot that because I'm not in the same realm, they don't get hit as much. Yeah, they don't get injured. There we go. Yeah, I forgot. They're in a different plane. They're in fucking uh, Purgatorio. So, schmer. All right, come on, Cereza. But at least with this escort mission, she heals over time. It's not like it's a constant, oh, I have to make sure I watch her health and blah, 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 bullshit like that. Like, no, she heals herself. Oh, water. How nice. All right, so there's no secrets here, right? Pretty sure there's no secrets here. I stay away from the little adorable child, right? Oh, but this is going to be a bad time, just saying. Yeah, just take a look at this gigantic hallway. To those who do not know but Bayonetta, take a look at this gigantic hallway. Prepare for a run. Prepare for a run. Let's go. Fuck! Move! Let's go! Come on! Come on, Cereza! Let's go! Move! Oh, fucking hell! There we go. Move. No. 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 Let's go. Come on. Come on, Sarasa. Sarasa, come on. All right. The Purgatory Center of Trinity. Like, no touching the child. It's like a calling a dog. It's like, come here! Nope, don't come here! <laughs> One of the unique aspects of the religion in this town is the people's belief that the world is actually made up of three unique realms layered on top of each other. The human world, Inferno, and Paradiso, the trinity of realities. However, the wavelengths of the spirit energy in each of these realities is different, and inhabitants of each are unable to interfere with the other's affairs, despite the fact the worlds are layered. It is said the Lumen Sages and Umber Witches had unique ability to pass into the realm known as Purgatorio and travel amongst the trinity. It is believed that the witches and sages each made contracts with the masters of the light and dark worlds and can use the special abilities granted to them by their masters. Underlying all of this, though, is the presence of the Trinity realities. Even during the witch hunts, it seems those suspected of being witches were lured into Purgatorio, an act the people called being spirited away, 
and their presence in the no man's land was used as justification to further acts of persecution. Further, to further explain Purgatorio, one must understand that those within the realm are unable to see or touch those in the human world, nor are humans in their own world able to intervene with the affairs of Purgatorio. Moreover, what we identify as material objects may have different appearances and different realities. Yet, when these items are destroyed in one world, they will be destroyed in all worlds. This may explain why many place religious interpretations upon the phenomenon of unexplained destruction that occurs during their everyday lives. Loose get do, we can do! Hello, doggies. Hello, angels. Don't worry. It's always scary the first time you see them. And it's annoying the second and third. Where was I? Oh, yes. Your kind invitation. I do hope you've prepared dessert as well. Doggies. Oh, what a lovely tea party. And dancing, too. Cereza, my dear, watch and learn. Ah, uh, Meh. No, that's fine, Ryan. It's fine. That needed to happen. <laughs> watch Cereza gets body. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm so good at this game, guys! You can't even tell how good at this game I'm even freaking with it. Am I wrong though? No, shut up. Oh, fuck you! One down. Oh, fuck you. You, Jesus. <sighs> Time for Cereza to get, uh, unfortunately attacked by this thing. That.
Can you please put down the the past self of mine? Time to stop touching the child. Still gonna get stone, don't matter. That's not Bayonetta. <laughs> Fucking help. Wait, do I have any healing? No, I'm walking into this fucking great. This is gonna be great. My favorite scene, by the way, guys. Let's do this! Yeah, Psh, I knew that was gonna happen because I had no HP. Shit. out joy joy first fear <sighs> Meh. 
silver. Get you in a minute, Sir I know where you went. Angel's Banquet Hall. I'll find. Vigrid has long held the notion that the world is comprised of a trinity of realities, Paradiso, Inferno, and the human world. However, since the era of the witch hunts, where the Umber witches were met total annihilation, the Gridians have held that Paradiso, the world of light, is the most perfect of these realms and have worshipped it as such. Yet, as normal human beings are unable to experience this heaven, the Vigridians' feelings regarding Paradiso manifest themselves in various ways. Even the Porta, even the Porta del Paradiso ruins, of which remain to this day, were born of this faith and placed around the city as an act of Paradiso worship. These structures, stone discs three meters in diameter, were said to present, represent portals into Paradiso itself. It was believed that when the gods extended the people a helping hand, they would do so via the portals, guiding them to Paradiso. Thus, the Porta, the Porta were placed in spiritually powerful locations. I have one more interesting aside. Within Paradiso, there are said to be secret rooms known as Alfheim, where angels gather to hold their banquets. The Porta del Paradiso, created by man, are said to mimic the entrance to these Alfheim. Legend has it that if someone were to stumble across one of these portals, while in Purgatorio, they may enter in Alfheim, upon which the angels would entertain the lost visitor and bless them justly. <laughs> Bullshit! Soreza! Soreza! Very well, Air Force Base. Prominence Bridge. <sighs> As part of the Ithavolv Group's plans for further development of the grid, the man-made island of Ila de Sol, a new urban center, was constructed and outfitted with a new highway, stretching a total of 41.255 uh, uh, kilometers, uh, 26.218 meters, uh, miles. <laughs> I can read. As expected, traveling this highway, which links the major areas of Vigrid to the island, requires vigorous checks, and its usefulness is limited to Vigridian authorities, ethical group materials, transports, and a select group of authorized personnel. The bridge connecting the island to the mainland is an enormous overseas suspension bridge. The structures supporting the bridge's wires are shaped like a bright solar flares that shoot out from the sun's surface, giving the crossing its name, Prominence Bridge. It is truly a symbol of mod uh, modernity that has come to Vigrid. Cheshire. Mommy. Mommy, you're a mom. You. Come now, Cheshire. Look at me. Do I look like I have any interest in children? Now making them. Well, that's another story. Whoa, whoa! You're getting the wrong idea. I mean, it might be the right I know idea, you won me. No, Sorry. <laughs> right now, right. Right? Yeah, uh, speaking of right, I'm glad I've been standing around waiting for you, because I knew we'd cross paths. See, the only way to reach the upper crust in their gated island of champagne wishes and caviar dreams is over Prominence Bridge. Oh, yes. The island. Lovely place, isn't it? Oh, now what? Don't play games with me. You've worked your magic on this poor defenseless child, haven't you? <sighs> Luca! A sad, sick woman. You know that? I was her age when you killed my father. Wait. No. You couldn't. Luca. Oh my god, you did, didn't you? Luca. You killed her parents. Luca. Hmm. Come to think of it, she's better off with you. You two are more hassle than you're worth. What? Just keep a good eye on her, or you're going to catch hell for it. No good deed goes unpunished. And you never know when a monster may sneak up on you. Mommy, look out!
Prepare for the stone, ladies and gentlemen. Give me that stone. Just give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, what a day. Whatever. <laughs>